Hello my friends! Let's find an integral written on the board using partial fractions method. First of all, we need to simplify the expression under the integral sign. Let's divide x cubed minus 1 by x squared minus 2x using long division of polynomials. First of all, we need to get rid of x cubed. For that, we need to have x over here. So when we multiply, we get x cubed minus 2x squared. And this gives us 2x squared minus 1. Our next step is to eliminate 2x squared. For that, we need to add 2 over here. And now we get 2x squared minus 4x. And this gives us 4x minus 1. And this expression can be divided further. So now we can rewrite our integral in the following way. Now we have an integral of x plus 2 plus 4x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x dx. We can split this integral in two. The first one is an integral of x plus 2 dx plus integral of this fraction 4x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x dx. We can easily find the first integral. We get x squared over 2 plus 2x plus a constant. And then we have the second integral. Integral of 4x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x dx. To find this one, let's decompose the expression under the integral sign. 4x minus 1 over x times x minus 2. We get two fractions. The first one is a over x plus b over x minus 2. As we can see, we obtained two fractions. Factors of the initial denominator become uh, the denominators of our new fractions. Also notice that numerators are one degree less than denominators. As we have linear denominators, our numerators are just numerical coefficients. And now we need to find these coefficients a and b. For that, let's reduce uh, the fractions to a common denominator, x times x minus 2. And in the numerator we have a times x minus 2, so we get ax minus 2a plus bx. Obviously our new numerator must be equal to the initial numerator. So we can say that 4x minus 1 equals ax minus 2a plus bx. This equality should hold for any values of x. So we can equate coefficients in front of the same powers of x in the left and right part. For x, we have 4 equals a plus b. And for x raised to the zeroth power, which is just a constant, we have negative 1 equals negative 2a. So we obtained a system with two equations and two unknowns. Let's find them. From the second equation we get a equals one half. And from the first b equals four minus a, which is four minus one half, and gives us seven halves. Now let's substitute these coefficients over here. Instead of a, we have 1 half over x plus b, which is 7 halves over x minus 2. 
Here we can factor out one half, and in braces we get one over x plus seven over x minus two. Let's substitute this expression over here. We have x squared over two plus two x plus a constant. And then our integral. We factor out one half. And now we have an integral of one over x plus seven over x minus two dx. Now let's clear some space. We can split this integral in two. So we get x squared over 2 plus 2x plus a constant plus 1 half times integral of 1 over x dx, so we get dx over x, plus the second integral. We factor out 7, so we get 7 times integral of dx over x minus 2. Let's recall that integral of dx over x equals a ln of x plus a constant. So here we get the following expression. x squared over 2 plus 2x plus a constant plus 1 half times a ln of x plus constant plus 7 times a ln of x minus 2 plus another constant. This is already the answer, but let's make it simpler. We will write this part x squared over 2 plus 2x plus constant. Then we have 1 half times ln of x plus constant. And here, let's recall the power rule for logarithms. We can move this factor 7 as a power under the log sign. So we get ln of x minus 2 raised to the 7th power plus a constant. And finally, we get x squared over 2 plus 2x plus 1 half and here we can use the product rule for logarithms as we have two logs with the same base. So we get ln of x times x minus 2 raised to the seventh power. And we add these three constants to get a resulting constant. So here's our answer. That's how we use partial fractions method. Thanks for watching us.